you will hear people talking in eight different situations. For questions one to eight, choose the best answer A, B, or C. One. You hear a woman talking about the final episode of a TV series. What does she say about it? A. It wasn't as good as previous episodes. B. It failed to attract a large number of viewers. C. It delivered an unexpected end to the story. We all knew that in the end, Sam, the hero, would win back the love of his girlfriend, Claire. I don't think there was much doubt about that. After all, series like this don't go in for unhappy endings. If they did, they wouldn't attract such large audiences. After weeks of drama and tears, we all wanted to leave the characters on a high note, and that's fair enough. But you'd have thought the scriptwriters would have produced a compelling last episode to do justice to what was up to that point a good series. But because most of the plot lines had resolved themselves the week before, it really wasn't worth watching. Now, two, you hear a DJ who works in a club talking about his job. What makes him unhappy? A, being asked to play old-fashioned types of music. B. Being asked to play the same track more than once. C. Being asked to play the bands which he dislikes most. People normally request the big names from the DJ, but I've got a huge collection, so there isn't much I can't offer. Sometimes somebody comes up to me and requests a song that makes me say, "Yeah, that's an awesome track. I'll put that on right now." Sometimes it's something I don't particularly like, but it doesn't bother me because it's all part of the job, and I don't even mind playing old stuff because that adds variety. But what I can't stand is when someone requests a track and you have to tell them you've just played it. That does get to me, even if it's a band I really like. Three. You hear a man talking about an art exhibition. What does he criticize about it? A, the way the paintings were displayed. B, the number of paintings in the exhibition. C, the lack of information about the paintings. This is a collection of paintings from all over the world. There are four large rooms with paintings from the 17th to the 20th centuries. I wish they devoted one room to each century instead of grouping the paintings according to topic. I'd have found it more interesting. They were all landscapes by famous painters, and if you were interested, there was something about the artist and the actual place where they painted. I find that reading things about a painting distracts my attention, but I did buy a book about the exhibition on my way out. There were about one hundred paintings, which is impressive for a small gallery. Four. You hear a radio announcement about a job vacancy. What skill must you have if you want the job? A. An ability to deal with complaints. B. An ability to work with numbers. C, an ability to write well. We've got a vacancy in our sales department, and we'd like a young person, ideally somebody just out of college. This job involves face-to-face -face contact with customers, and there'll be problems to solve for them. We're offering a full training in customer care, and the rest is learnt on the job. All you need is lots of enthusiasm. But of course, we do need somebody who can produce a report in clear English, and we don't give any training in that. And just in case you're thinking perhaps you need to be good at maths, we have an accounts department that takes care of all that, so it's not an issue. Five. 
You hear part of an interview with a restaurant owner. What is attracting customers to the restaurant? A. A website. B. Magazine reviews. C. Personal recommendations. I opened the restaurant two weeks ago, and most days it's quite full. I was interviewed the other day for an article in Good Eating magazine, and that'll probably attract even more people. Well, it may be that your very good website is making people want to come and give you a try. I don't know if you designed it, but it's very attractive indeed. Actually, it was professionally done, though I'm sure you're right. My wife wasn't very keen on spending the money on it. She reckons satisfied customers tell their friends, and that's enough.、Mm, she may have a point, of course. You'll have to wait and see. Six. You hear part of a talk by a young man who's just come back from a trip. What was the main benefit of the trip for him? A. He became more independent. B. He learnt a foreign language. C. He made new friends. This was partly a holiday and partly a study trip to see the places we'd studied in our geography lessons. I went with three friends from school, which was great because we organised the whole trip together and got on so well. I'd always travel with my family, and this experience has been so important in making me realise I can actually do things on my own. I speak good Spanish, so I was doing all the talking because neither of my friends know a word of it. But by the end of the trip, they'd learnt the basics and could more or less manage to make themselves understood. Seven. On the radio, you hear a sports journalist talking about an article she has written. What is the article about? A. The history of sport. B. The benefits of sport. C. The lack of sports facilities. There's a lot of talk nowadays about how children should be doing more sport and spending less time in front of the television or computer. Nobody doubts the fact that sport is good for your health, so I didn't feel it was necessary to deal with this in my article. My intention was to raise awareness of a key problem we need to address. We can't just say go out and play a sport without first investing more on sports venues. We need to look at how other countries deal with this problem, and also at what we can learn from the past. Eight. You hear a young man giving a talk about going camping. What is his advice? A. Take a good variety of foodstuffs. B. Go prepared for bad weather. C. Choose the area carefully. Camping is the best kind of holiday for me. I spend a lot of time planning each trip, so I can definitely give you some good advice. I believe in making sure I'll be warm and comfortable, so I take what some of my friends think is a completely unnecessary amount of clothing in case it gets cold or wet. Well, it's always worked for me, and I think they're crazy when I see the amount of food they take, which I wouldn't advise you to do because it's always possible to find things locally. Wherever you're camping, there's always a village not too far away. This is the end of this listening exercise. Try another one.